Oh my god. Okay. Since September 2022, we have a new trendy term called quiet quitting or quiet quitter. Basically, it just means that employees right now are just doing enough work to meet the job description. They will not go above and beyond. What's the issue here? If I'm being hired to do what I'm supposed to do, I have delivered. What's the issue here? Isn't that good? I don't get it. <laughs> What's the issue here? Are uh, employers starting to think that if I hire someone, it is an unspoken expectation that you, as an employee, as the staff of the company, you must do way above and beyond. What is this? What kind of expectation is this? So I think employers, you need to manage your expectations seriously. Now for the employees, the workers themselves, I mean, if let's say you decide to go beyond and above, you decide to take extra effort to do more, then great, good for you. You you have a great advantage. You stand out, you learn more. What's the issue here? I don't get it. And I don't agree this statement. You know, you need to take extra effort to collaborate with co-workers and meet customers. You need to take extra effort. What is this extra effort? How do you measure this extra effort? If I am fulfilling what I need to do for the job itself, I and putting in effort to build relationship, to build that connection. Why is this called extra effort? Do you think that when two people come together, they naturally click? Since when? So why is there an extra effort? Isn't it part of the process of living together in a community? I don't get why we need to keep creating new terms. What is the rationale behind it? What is the objective here? Is it to make us better or is it just becoming more like an excuse for different parties to just throw terms around? I don't get it. I think I say I don't get it many times. I feel that at the end of the day, if terms like this are created to to allow conversations to take place, right? Because we are in new times, there might be new working environment, new working condition, and multiple different stakeholders coming together to have open conversation and start to implement strategies to make things better for everyone, then yes, that's great. And I feel that everyone should take ownership. It shouldn't just be the employer and it shouldn't just be the employee or the state or the or the board of director or what's not. It should be everyone. So can we stop having terms? It is really getting on my oh my god, I can't 